Another one of Ozone 9's ultra modern features is the low end focus. This has a similar GUI to the Spectral Shaper. However, it's really designed to focus just on the low frequency areas, despite the fact we can, uh, despite the fact we can see the full frequency spectrum, uh, we are limited. We can only really get up to 300 Hertz. Look, if we narrow it down, we can move around in that spectrum but that's the only area we can work in. It has a similar principle in the way it works. There's two set areas, depending on the type of bass, we've got punchy or smooth. Now this track has a low subline that rolls along under everything. So smooth would work. If we had something like a slap bass or perhaps even like a traditional picked bass, punchy would definitely work for that kind of sound. That's the idea. So we have a listen function, which is gonna always focus on what we're doing. While everything's central, you can hear there's no processing. However, if we were to push up the contrast, we'll now be able to hear just the processing that's taking effect. We switch it to smooth. much smoother. That's a big difference. So let's bring that down. And this is really helping the weight of our kick come through rather than looking after the sub, which is quite an interesting feature. Let me have it disabled. We'll run this part of the loop here and then listen when I enable it, how much more focused and weighty the kick feels with this extra bit of low end focus processing. Because I'm so Now, whether or not that's a good thing, you'll have to decide in your mastering process and whether or not you've got the headroom to afford it. Equally, if you find that you've got too much low end, which this track actually does have ever so slightly, we can go the other way and we can contrast it into the minus and bring it down ever so slightly, but we should be able to leave a lot of the original harmonics and things working with it. Because I'm so Okay, so what we've done there is we've reduced the contrast a little bit, brought the gain down by around 2 dB. But by doing that using the low end focus rather than just an EQ, we've been able to keep a lot of the punch and feel in the low end uh, while getting it closer to our overall goal in tonal balance. So let's just A and B that and have a look at the tonal balance and how it's sitting way more in our area that we know is gonna work for our mix. So it's helped bring a little bit more focus to the low end and kind of tone and shape the kick a little bit. So it's actually got, ironically, a bit more focus. This is really, really useful. And I'll probably use this technique when we go to master the full track. That guys is the purpose of low end focus. Uh, very useful, very modern bit of kit, something we can really use to help correct and satisfy the low end needs in non-perfect mixes. And very few mixes you ever get to work on will be perfect, I promise you. 
So that's the end of the breakdown videos. What we're going to move on to now is I'm going to master this track and show you lots of techniques and things that we can do to use certain features now that you understand what each area does, how the GUI works and how Ozone 9 works in general. So let's move on to that and let's get into some practical mastering examples.